Welcome to Made in Africa. In this section, we bring you the latest South African Parliament updates. This is as MPs responded to President Cyril Ramaphosa's speech in the State of the Nation address a debate in Parliament to give South Africans a glimpse of what their election manifestos will entail. Honorable Lekota, the President just stepped out. You can continue, please. Well, uh, Madam, uh, Madam uh, Speaker. Um, please just hold on, sir, before your time runs. Uh, honorable members, honorable members, I do have a member on the podium, please. Honorable Lekota, please start. No, Madam Speaker, shouldn't I wait for the president? No. I would like. I would no, Honorable Lekota, now you are wasting your time. Please proceed. No, 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 no. The president addressed me when he was here on the podium. I want the president because I want to answer some of the things he said to me. He called me by name. He called me by name. Honorable Lekota, no, please spoke. hold that time. Honorable Lekota, you now amaze me. From 1994, you have been sitting in these benches. You do I, know that during the State to, of to the Nation address, the, no, I'm addressing you, Honorable Lulikota. I'm addressing you. No, Honorable Members, this amnesia is amazing. Honorable Members, the President or any other minister is just a human being. They do have a chance to go out and to come back. Since 1994, Honorable Lekota, you and I are witness that, in fact, there were instances when the presidents would not even be here. He's got the staff here. He's got deputies. He's got ministers. People will take notes and will keep him updated when he comes in. So please proceed with the debate, sir. Honorable Lekota, you can then continue with your speech. I do not want this interaction, Honorable Lepot. I had to rule on you. Madam, Madam Speaker. Honorable Lekota, Honorable if you do not exercise the four minutes allocated to you, you Honorable will forfeit it. Honorable Chairperson. Yes, ma'am. You are Honorable, on the floor. Honorable Chairperson, well, can't we make a proposal that the ANC speaks and when the president is back, no. then my leader can speak? No. Because the reply. Please take your seat. That is not. Is a reply please on take the your seat, ma'am. No, no. By the president of a country. Honorable member, take, take your seat. Or close to that mic. Else. Take your seat. Point of order. Honorable, please let me deal with this matter. Honorable Lekota. You can proceed with your Yeah, speech. he mustn't hold the house at ransom like this. No, no. Our Honourable people are listening, uh, Lakota. Our no. people Honourable, are Honourable, listening. Honorable, Honorable, uh, I Motive forces of the NDR no, you are, are listening. Not, you have not been recognized. May I just address you once again, Honorable Lakota? Please. You cannot hold us to ransom. You are allocated a time. The list of speakers was circulated. Order. You must proceed with your speech. If you did not want to take that opportunity to proceed, you were going to forfeit that time, I can tell you now. Please proceed. Uh, National Chairperson, his time is up. No, the it's not up. Gone. Please. No. Your time is up, Chivosa. No, 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 no. It's not up. Please side. take your seat. Please take your seat. I'm addressing this point so that this honorable member does not think that the president has no time and no right to step out of the house and the debate can be stopped. Please proceed, sir. Thank you, Madam, Madam Speaker. Mr. President, I... Please no, allow the member to proceed. Honorable Lukota, you are now protected. M Madam proceed. Na Ma Madam National Chairperson of the Council of Provinces, last week the President was on this spot here when he invited me, among others, to join him. I don't know to what trip. I do want to say to the President today, 
I was a bit puzzled that you introduced uh, Roosevelt in all of that you spoke about. I'd like to say we must come back to South Africa because I was never in the United States to struggle. We struggled here. And I want to say, I do want to say to you, Mr. President, that we were invited on a trip of struggle by the preeminent leader of the students of our time, the late Steve Beagle, who said to us that we must fight the struggle and said that, and I quote, in case of danger or living conditions that threaten human life, we must accept life for what it is or not at all. It did not take very long, two years or so, because that was around 72. In about 1974, we went into detention, among others. And in the course of that, we had to respond to this challenge. And I want to say to you, you invited me last week. We had to respond to that challenge. Your invitation last week was late. The challenge we had to respond to was that time, and you with us in detention. When it was difficult, you wrote to the special branch that we put communist ideas in your head. In doing so, you condemned us to the special branch. And I say, no, no, I say this to you. I say this to you Order. because the, the special branch rewarded you, as they always reward their victims, and they send you home. And we headed to Robben Island. You should have responded. This invitation that you are issuing on Friday, you should have issued it then. We should have traveled together to the island to serve years for, for the struggle of our people. I will not join you in the trip that you are suggesting. I will not join you because you made your choice then. There's a point of order. And Honorable Lukota, please take your seat. <laughs> Honorable Lukota, please take your seat. You are on a point of order, ma'am. Honorable Chairperson, the rules does not allow personal reflections to be made on members, and specifically on this case. Honorable, Honorable Member. I'm going to allow Honorable Likota to finish off. The president, order, the president is quite capable of dealing with whatever met. Please proceed, Honorable Likota. Chair. So, Honorable Chair. This is my time. Honorable my time Chair. is almost on, finished. Honor, Honorable Likota, please but take your seat, Honorable Malema. We want to offer Honorable Likota eight minutes of the EFF, which is remaining. Is it allowed, Chair? That is not allowed, sir. Please take your seat. Okay, but can that you is not a point of order. to extend his time, please? No. Honorable this Lekota, issue of selling out is very important. Honorable Lekota, please continue. With you, you must please watch your clock. Well, the only point I wanted to make was that that was the time the choices were made. I made my choice to go down with our people. You made your choice to go with them. Now you are inviting us to join you in the corruption of Bosasa, in the corruption of all of these things you've been doing with the others. I'm sorry, sir. I will stay with the people in Kayalicha, in Chiawelo and Soweto and so on. The day we get out of there, it will not be to go to the flesh path of Egypt. It will be to go with our people when freedom is there for everybody. I'm, I thank you. I'm grateful you are, you are a billionaire. Keep the billionaires and thank you for them. But we are not going to be part with you. I'm not joining that trip. Thank, thank you. you, sir. If you are interested to hear, your time you has must expired. Come to our launch. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. The Honorable the Minister of International Relations and Cooperation. Order.
Order, members. Order. 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 Honorable members, please take your seat. Honorable Minister, please proceed with your... Thank you very much.